Hey, I'm Samson Davina, and today I want to answer the question for you, what is the difference between a U-serve and a V-serve? Hmm. But before I answer that question, I want to build a little bit of context. You've probably played a tournament before, and you've played against an opponent, and their serve looked exactly the same. It was exactly the same motion, however, they had different spins. Sometimes it might be heavy backspin, sometimes side spin, sometimes top spin. What in the world's going on? Is it really the same motion with different spins? The answer is yes. It is possible to serve the exact same motion, but different spins. Let me demonstrate. Imagine I was serving the forehand pendulum serve, and I did this motion. What spin would it be? Backspin, side spin, or top spin? Well, it depends at which point in the motion I hit the ball. If I hit the ball here going forward, that would be backspin. If I hit the ball here going sideways, that would be side spin. And if I hit the ball as I'm pulling back this way, that would be top spin. That's called a semicircular motion or a U motion. So it looks like this. Imagine your opponent's here and you're on this side, that's you, and your backhand serve looks kind of like that. If you hit the ball here, it's backspin, there it's side spin, and there it's top spin. So as you can see, you can serve a very similar serve like this, but it depends on which point in the trajectory you hit the ball. Now, going back to the initial question that I said, what's the difference between a U serve and a V serve? Well, a V serve is more like this. Okay, obviously that's in the shape of a V. So instead of doing a semicircular motion here, a V serve has a quicker transition point between backspin, side spin, and top spin. So it looks more like this. So watch the difference. This would be a U serve, and this would be a V serve. See, it has a more subtle transition point. Same thing on forehand pendulum serve. Instead of it being a huge U motion or semi-circular motion, with a V-serve, it has a quicker transition point. Okay? So as you can understand the basics with the semi-circular motion or the U motion, and you've got that down and you're able to serve the backspin, the side spin, and the top spin. Next step is making your serve more deceptive. So you need a quicker transition point. Watch on the diagram. It's very easy for your opponent to tell where you hit if you hit here, here, or here. But imagine if you hit the ball here and it was backspin, here it was side spin, and here it was top spin. See how the difference is much, much, much more subtle? So like I said, after you develop the basics and you can serve any spin to any location, keeping your serve low, the next step in, the, in your serve progress is to develop V motions instead of U motions. Thanks for watching. See you soon.